Good morning guys, so today I woke up early because I want to go to the hairdressers but I have to work in the afternoon and I have something planned. <laughs> so today I'm going to the hairdressers and it's very exciting because I'm gonna let her pick the color for my hair. I'm going to show her four colors I really like and then she can choose one and only show me at the end what it is. So I'm very nervous and I'm also going to chop a bit of my hair. I want it to, to be like the picture I'll insert but I think I'm going to keep it a little longer because I'm not ready to say goodbye to the very long hair yet. But I'll see, maybe when I'm there I'll change my mind, I don't know. But that's what's happening today. It's very early. I think this was the easiest time I, <laughs> I got out of bed so early because I just know it's for the hairdressers and I have to work in the afternoon so I hope they recognize me because it's been a while since I worked there yeah. that's what's happening I'm very excited I'm going to try and film a bit of the hair process I hope they let me because I don't know how they stand against filming but yeah, we'll see and I'm very nervous to see the end result so I guess you have to wait and find it out with me. So yeah, I'm a ginger now. I'm a redhead. That's the word I was looking for. I had a feeling she would choose this one because it's the easiest and the most different one from what I had. So the blonde was just lighten up the roots a bit. And then the white one was too difficult to do in one stage. So I had a feeling she would pick this one. But I'm very happy with the color. I cried a little about the length because it's way shorter than I expected it to be. But everyone is saying that it looks good and it's still long but I had hair like this and now it's here so it's very weird if I touch my hair that it stops so I'm I don't know, I have to get used to it being so short, but I really like the color. I don't know if I like this better than my blonde, but it's a fun change for now. So I can go back to blonde in a couple of months or a year if I want to. But for now, I really like this color. I just have to get used to the fact that it's so short. It's only the length. Oh God, it's so short. At first, before she colored it, she took off a piece and then my hair was still like here. And then I was okay, that's a good length. But then when she starts cutting it after the coloring, she started cutting and cutting and then we ended up here. But it's healthy now. I hope it doesn't get tangled as much as it did before. So it'll be a change for you guys as well. For my videos to see this hair so i hope you guys like it too because otherwise it's my fault <laughs> that nobody watches my videos anymore but it's a big change my hair and i hope you guys like it i like it it's just a little bit weird to see myself with short hair again but now i'm going to eat something then do my nails again because i ripped three nails off and then 
I'll see what I'll do later. So I'll see you after we eat dinner. Lunch, not dinner, lunch. <laughs> so this is how I paint my nails. So I'm missing three nails on this hand and one on this hand. So maybe I'm going to start with this one because that's the easiest one because it's with my right hand that I can paint it in. So first I'm taking my base plus top coat and I know Christine from Simply Nail Logical is cringing now because she hates base plus top coat. She compares it with two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. That's true, but it's the only one I have. So I just take a little bit of that. And place it over my nail and I make sure that I leave a little gap at the end and on the sides also a little bit and then I wrap it around the tip and then I let it dry so this is a gel nail polish so it isn't like the gel manicures you get done in salons it's just nail polish that you can dry faster and it's a little bit sturdier than normal nail polish because i suck at painting my nails and this is also handy because it doesn't dry until it's under the lamp so if you mess up you can just take it off and clean it before you dry it so that's pretty handy for me. Okay, so when the light turns off, it's done. And then I'm going to take my color and it's Catch the Bouquet from Early Smart Shells. And my lamp is from Sensational, so that's another brand. Because I bought like the starter pack of this brand and it came with the lamp and now for the colors I use another brand because it's a little bit easier to find here. So now I'm going to take my color and do a very thin layer of it. And then I let it dry. Oh, you look so happy. And now I'm only going to let it dry until the little beep goes off. And that's half a minute, I think, and the other one is a minute. So that's the beep. And then take another layer and just build that up until the color is about the same as on the other nails. Okay, so for the last layer of color, I think I take a little bit more and just place it a little thicker on the parts that are still very transparent. So, but I try to not make like a huge pile of it so I don't have any bumps when it's dry. So I guess something like this should work. And then quickly put it under the lamp. Because if you do a lot of the product then it spreads to the edges and everything disappears in the middle. So you have to be quick. And I spilled a little on my skin because I can feel it burning. Now for the last layer, I'm going to wait until the lamp turns off again, so that it's really dry. 
and then one last layer of the top coats and also wrap that around the tip I don't like to do this with my color gel because then it gets too thick too fat and again I'm leaving this to dry until the lamp turns off and that's it that's basically how I do my own nails and as you can see this hand is a little bit lighter than this one nail that's still left on this hand because on this hand I put um, another pink shade under it so I didn't have the white tips coming through but I prefer this look a little bit better because it's like a cute gradient without it being a gradient so I like that look a little bit more than the pink with the shade over it so but for this hand I think I don't know I'm going to do the same as on this hand without the pink under layer but yeah I'm going to speed this up a little because you already know how to do one <laughs> Now, after you done the last um, top coat, you have like a little stickiness on the nail and I forgot to do it on this hand, so it's a little bit dirty. So then I just take some cleanser, some remover, and that's this doesn't remove the nail polish by just wiping over it. You need to really soak them in it before it removes the color. So I just take it on a little q-tip and wipe it over my nail so the little sticky layer is gone. And then my, na my nails are nice and shiny and they don't stick. I'm going to do it here also. And you can really see the difference and feel it. Oops. This is what I mean by if you do it slow, then everything runs to the side. So I have a lot of product here and here and in here. It's just a little gap. I don't know how to say it, but it's not even. But yeah, I'm not going to rip it off because it's still attached to the sides. So it's going to hurt too much.